everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ. Yes, I am. And I'm a prayer warrior, praise God. I love to stay in communion with Jesus, consciously be aware of the Holy Spirit, and be led in all the good fruits today. So today I'm making a video, as you can see, it is not very nice, it's very cloudy. Today in Texas, it's October 12th. Today at Lifestyle Christianity, it was Todd Tuesday, praise God. Sorry, I didn't want the camera so close to my face. Um, but it was awesome. Ah, so I was so well fed today. I love getting fed in my spirit, man. Man, to die to self, pick up my cross, and follow Jesus. So because it's kind of cloudy today, I am, uh, I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and walk. I don't have a lot of time to, I have been working very hard and besides working, just getting out there and fellowshipping with people from my school and also um, uh, serving at my church at Risen Nation. So it's, it's been kind of a crazy last five days. So today I thought, I'm still gonna get out there and discipline my body. It's been really exciting because as, if you've been watching my videos, you know since July 5th, I have been on a journey of getting my uh, physical body, my flesh weakened and having the Holy Spirit take over so that um, I live with the mind frame and consciously aware of His presence being led and feeling good on the inside and it shows on the outside so if you look at my past videos you can see how I look then even within the last year and a half to all the way up and to today and so and as you can see I've even put on a little bit of lipstick and people from school actually came up and said Annie you look so pretty with lipstick on so um I just thought I would told the Lord, you know, when I feel good on the inside, it, it shows on the outside. Praise God. Without getting the pride in the way. Um, but anyway, so I'm out here in Texas uh, in the community that I live right now. Um, and I'm just going for a nice, brisk walk. It's windy, but it feels great. It does. It feels good. I love being outside with the Lord and so before I made this video I was singing to him and it's amazing what the Holy Spirit decides to put in my mouth because he anoints our mouths <laughs> so I've just been worshiping him singing to him and there's a lot of birds that are flying over me and it, I'm telling you the whole earth is filled with his glory the whole earth is groaning for the Lord and I'm telling you look at all these birds here They're just like flying over this place too, but there must be a lot of food over here for them today. Oh, anyway, I'm uh, going for this nice brisk walk and just enjoying my time with Jesus. And I thought I'd bring you with me so you get a chance to enjoy the outside with me just in case you don't get out. I don't know what the heck that was. <laughs> Something that knocked me in the head. Look at the birds. Ah. Thank God it wasn't a bird that knocked me in the head. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know how your day's going, and I don't know what the, what the weather is like where you're at, but if you haven't been to Texas before, come to the Fort Worth, Dallas area. Praise God, it's beautiful out here. I love the weather, this fall weather that we have. Coming from Iowa, coming from the Midwest, Chicagoland, Omaha, St. Louis, Kansas City, I mean, all the places that I've lived in the Midwest, I'm grateful to be in Texas today. Because as I've said, I'm gonna be 53 in the next couple months, and as you get older, your bones get a little more fragile and your muscles, and so it feels good I'd rather deal with the heat 
than the coal. So it is a little more expensive here in Texas than it is in Iowa, but overall, it's absolutely beautiful here. And I'm telling you, if the Lord has been speaking to your heart about coming together with the body of Christ in some way, whether it's come to lifestyle Christianity, it's to do something online, just to be a part of a, uh, a church body to come together to continue to get our roots growing deeper in the love of Jesus. It's so important. So, and it helps us. Though when you refresh others, you yourself get refreshed. So, I'm, uh, I'm loving lifestyle Christianity. You can look it up online. They do have online classes as well. Um, so you can do, if you don't want to move to Texas, you could think about doing that. But uh, there's a lot of younger people that go to my school. I'd give my seat up in a heartbeat for one of my kids to be at this school. But, you know, we're all on our own journey. I'm just praying for one out of my five kids to think about going to the school, if not all of them. But at the same time, uh, just to have a relationship with Jesus is, is really because I didn't get turn my life over to him until I was 43 years old or almost four, I think uh, hang on a minute I think it was 44 almost 45 so 2013 is when I made uh, was when I did when I surrendered you know and truly repented and had a heart change in that aspect of living that destructive, toxic, ugh, chasing the pipe, chasing getting high, all that, all that junk that just comes with a lifestyle that is dysfunctional. That's all you attract is hurt people, attract hurt people, and in return, you hurt people. So <laughs> we're not dealing with hurt people in the aspect anymore the way I realize. Hurt people is because they don't know Jesus and they're caught up in, in a sin that they're either comfortable with or a sin that they have not figured out that Jesus is the only way to um, break down those uh, addictions and pain, shame, guilt, condemnation, rejection, abandonment, trauma, all that junk that you hold in your heart. The only way you can get rid of it is Jesus is our healer, getting in the Word of God today. So, praise God. Bless you! Hello! How? Good, how are you? Good, have a great day! Bless you! So, anyway, I'm just going to finish my walk. thought I'd come out here and uh, make a quick video. I love you all. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I pray in Jesus' name that you spend time with Jesus in his presence. Worship him today. When we worship the Lord, you end up getting a grateful, thankful heart, and there's no room for the devil to seek. And he hates it when we worship. Start worshiping the Lord today. Worship him in your spirit, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Let Jesus be the lover of your soul today. Let him be your bread and living water because he is our healer. When I'm out here walking, I'll just decree and declare things over myself. I let the Lord speak to my heart. He'll take me to verses that I can't wait to get home after I work out to see what he's pointing to. But draw close to the Holy Spirit. Let him lead your life today. Every day is a new day to realize you've been made the righteousness of God in Jesus. Live by what Jesus has done. Live by what the Word of God tells you to do. Live by the presence and the being led by the Holy Spirit. I love you all. Jesus loves us even more. Remember Jesus Christ. He is Lord. Hallelujah. And your soul as well. Bye now.